Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Train Driver 2! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to drive some trains. Once more. Uh, I know, I know, I did that last night or yesterday. Uh, if you prefer to, to call it that, that way. Uh, but yesterday I was testing a, a different game, yes. And, well, it didn't turn out as good as I expected. However, it's not a bad product. Uh, anyway, today, let's stay on topic. Yes, we are back in Train Driver 2. Hello, hello, 33676. Oh my goodness me. Every time I read your nickname, <laughs> I'm struggling to read it <laughs> uh, like on the spot. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, anyway, today we will be driving some trains, yes, and um, the main topic of today's video, uh, let's call it like that, or rather stream, is to just relax and drive some passenger trains. I'm not sure how long the stream will last, it all depends on how good timetables I'm gonna get. Uh, if I'm gonna get rubbish timetables, which may happen, even though it's Saturday evening, so I do hope that's there will be a lot of sceneries opened and there will be a lot of space on the rails so we can get some nice long timetables. So uh, let's jump in. I prepared my train uh, before the stream. So uh, we will be driving this beauty uh, EU07418 uh, with grand total of nine wagons a post office wagon or postal wagon two first class wagons oh why why did i put two of those no i want only one of those my goodness me i need to edit that oh my goodness me i i almost took two uh restaurant wagons for some reason <laughs> That was not intended. My goodness me, I, I'm really glad I I looked into that because otherwise, yeah, that that would look weird, isn't it? Nah, you do, you don't take two restaurant wagons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let me just copy that. Let me confirm that. Uh, where did I stop? Yes, uh, we got one restaurant wagon and five second class wagons. So there's plenty of space in our train, and I hope. A lot of you will be willing to jump right or take a ride with me uh, if you prefer it like that okay let me find a good starting point uh, perhaps hmm yeah Alexandrov Kuyavsky why not uh, where is that uh, why 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 it ran away uh, there we go perfect Okay, so here we are. Our locomotive is already started. Perfect. Uh, right, I believe we will have to maneuver into the platform, so I will just turn on right light. Uh, let me just see. Brake type regular, right speedy, there we go. Perfect. Okay, okay, hopefully everything is set. Let me just set my camera a little bit. And let me send the analysis. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let me just finish off setting my camera. Perhaps we could sit a little bit lower. Yeah, that's that's the stuff. I like it. It will be difficult to see the signals that are very close to me, but well, I can always try and stop a little bit further away. 
I can still see the signal right in front of me, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so let me just lock this camera. I'm happy with it. Uh, perhaps an external camera would be wise to set. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's our lovely locomotive. With that yellow face. Okay, I think that's a good perspective. Let's save it. So that we can always jump into this camera. Perfect. Okay. Perhaps a quick inspection around our train. So that's a postal wagon. There we go. Nice one. First class wagons. Let me just step in here. Yeah, that's the stuff. The Greek Zeus, hello! Welcome to the stream! Hop on aboard! We are about to depart. Hopefully soon. Okay, we got some second class wagons. Three of them are... good to carry bikes. If you want to. And two of them are not good for that. Okay, and signals are on. Perfect. Entre, hey! Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I hope you will have a great time. Okay, perfect. Right, so, as I'm waiting for my timetable, it, it might take a while because I, I've asked dispatcher to, to get something long for me. So he might need to build it manually hopefully we can get something really nice so that we can spend next hour or so driving this beautiful train uh, what station is this uh, this is Alexandrov Kuyavsky uh, it is a station that as far as I'm aware it's not gonna be available in standard pack after the new update, uh, because this station is going to be changed. So this is a nice platform on the side. I've been using it a few times. It's an end platform. Good for EN57 or EN70 one if i remember correctly the the numbers correct me if i'm wrong and those are main platforms yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's the stuff oh this is your favorite livery for eu07 yeah i i also like it although it's not my favorite one uh Paradoxally, my favorite livery for EU07 is uh, number 515, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's all green and, and like it, it has that brand new look to it in some ways. Ooh, this is unfinished. Oh, you like the full white one for cargo. Uh, I've actually never took that one for, for a ride. Uh, perhaps if I will be doing a freight train mini-series, uh, because that's what I'm planning to do. That's that's why I'm having uh, number one in the title. Uh, from now on, every time I will be doing a stream uh, with a passenger train, uh, let's say with a passenger trains only, uh, I will be adding that number to a mini-series. Perhaps I will be able to organize those videos somehow. And same goes to freight trains. So, yeah, maybe next time I will do more of a freight train-oriented stream. And I will give it a shot. Uh, because, yeah, testing at different liveries might be fun. Uh, I haven't driven many of the locomotives with different liveries. I, I often use only the same ones. 
which tends to get boring. Oh my goodness me, we got a timetable. Wow, we are supposed to depart in one minute. How am I supposed to... Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a nice timetable. That is a really nice timetable. My goodness me. Wow. Holy moly. Right. We need to quickly get into the platform because yeah we are oh we are already delayed uh, can we make up some time yes at Gdańsk Główne we might be able to make up some time there is five minutes commercial stop okay 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 yeah we can give it a shot Wow, 226 kilometers. Guys, for for next two hours at least, yeah? That's that's wow, that's three hour timetable. Nice, I love it. I already love it. See, now you know which station you should start on if you want a long timetable, yeah? So, Kolejowa Pasja, yeah, this guy is making nice timetables, I can guarantee you that. Holy Jesus, that was unexpected. Oh, and we have Bolt here. <laughs> Hello, Bolt. Hello. <laughs> Right, now I need to make a stop. The problem is that I have very long passenger trains uh, behind me. So, I do hope that I will make it to stop in front of that semaphore. Okay, we have stopped. Perfect. First place in Stacjownik. Nice. Uh, Antwerp. Uh, I will probably stream longer. However, if you miss part of my stream, don't worry. Uh, I always post my streams on YouTube. Uh, pretty much right after they finished. So... Uh, if you visit my YouTube channel, you can find link under the player. There, there should be link to my YouTube channel. Oh, Marcel. Yes, I, I always keep forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, you can always uh, visit my YouTube channel and you can find the full recording of, of the stream. So if you missed part of it, don't really worry about it. Right. We can now depart. Since we got green light and we are already three minutes late, but well, too bad. It happens. I know, I know. Missing that interaction is, well, uh, well, work is work. Yeah, I'm. I'm also coming back to work tomorrow, and unfortunately, I won't be able to stream that often as as I did in past two weeks. Uh, however, yeah, like, I can understand the pain. <laughs> right, anyway. Let's get this bad boy on the move. We are already late.
uh, how hard it was for me to get 3070. Not really hard, to be honest, uh, because, well, let's say I bought 3080 uh, on the release date and I installed it in my old PC, but for some reason, which I can't disclose, I lost access to my computer temporarily. So I had to buy another one and I decided, okay, I'm not gonna buy individual parts uh, because I can't be asked to, to build it. And I just bought a pre-built PC from one of the UK shop, yeah. And it was equipped with 3070 and, and that's how I got my hands on, on 3070, which I basically won't need when, when I get my PC back. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to 3070, it, it didn't took me long to, to actually find it. Like, uh, it was less than a week and, and I got my new PC with 3070 in it. Uh, the different story is with 3080 because I ordered it on the release day that was 17th of September last year and I just got it in February. So I had to wait for five full months before I got the card that I actually ordered. Right, anyway. We need to get this bad boy up to speed. I really need to focus because derailing while doing such timetable is very easy. Uh, to be honest, like I'm not super happy with everything in that pre-build. Uh, for example, as soon as I bought it, the first thing I did, I bought extra RAM. Uh, because it came only with like 8 or 16 gigs. And I was like, nope. <laughs> so I almost immediately like upgraded RAM. Uh, hard drives, yeah, I, I don't really have that much real estate on, on that. And, and I will probably have to upgrade hard drives if, uh, if I won't get my PC back uh, anytime soon. Uh, so that's another point of upgrade in a pre-build, yeah, so, mm, yeah, I'm not super happy about it, but, yes, uh, pre-build is pretty much the only way you can get uh, RTX cards right now. Uh, Bolt, you start ET41 the same as you start EU07. The procedure is exactly the same. Okay, I'm in another scenery now. Pantographs don't go up. I can guarantee you they do. Uh, just uh, turn on the main switch first. So the main switch is there. This small little thing. If you turn it on, you will be able to operate your pantographs from the cabin you turn it on. Uh. Well, that's the main switch. The one that I'm showing you with the cursor. So it's somewhere in the cabin, just search for it. And also, if you can't turn on the main switch, you might need to turn on the fuses which are there in cabin A. Okay, we got all clear to leg now.
Perfect. Those are Hetmanice. That's nice. Oh, by the way, Bolt, uh, just remember, if you select a cold start, your wagons are not attached to the locomotive as well. So you have to push back and, and connect your wagons as well. <laughs> just don't forget about them, because otherwise you will leave them on the siding where you started. Oh wow, that's a nice freight consist. Just look at this long boy. There we go. Right, so we should be approaching leg now. Oh, in fact. Hopefully, leg now will give me all green as well. So we can make up for that small delay at the beginning. And then we have a two minute stop at Bargovice. There we go, that's the end of the scenery. Unfortunately, we will see plenty of those loading screens today. There we go. Okay. Hello, Dominic Toretto. Welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time. That should be enough to hold my speed. Uh, Raliev, yes. Uh, hello, by the way. <laughs> yes, my timetable is over 200 kilometers long. It's really massive. We are definitely going to stay live until I finish it. Which is gonna take a while, because I think the last stop is at 10.45. Okay, so far so good. No issues there, all green. And it's currently the longest. My goodness me.
Benji, hello, hello. Uh, oh, greetings from Grabów Miasto. Hello, hello. I think I will be going through Grabów Miasto at some point. I, I'm not sure because, like, it's... Is that... No, I... Wow, I, I don't think I got Grabów Miasto. Oh. That's a new thing. Well, unfortunately, I won't be visiting you <laughs> anytime soon. Right, we are going through Legno right now. So... My speed limit should go down to 100 soon. Time to stay really focused. Because last thing I want to do with that service is to derail. <laughs> okay, speed limit will go down to 140. Perfect. It's all green. That's how I like it. Okay. Definitely a thumbs up. Right, so now we will be approaching Bargovice. Okay, we got neutral section. What's going on, Bolt? What have you done this time? Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a bad thing. Uh, looks like as soon as you moved your train uh, the spawn gets automatically like cleared by the game and dispatcher haven't closed it uh, so that's the reason why it happened uh, that's very unfortunate did you derailed um, I, I believe you did well both of you I guess <laughs> Oh, you haven't derailed. That That's weird thing. So perhaps if the person who spawned... Oh, okay. So the person who spawned on your train... If he disconnects, everything should be fine technically. But if one of you will try to move their trains, uh, you will immediately like crash and and both trains will derail. So you have to watch out. Okay, I'm gonna let it coast because we are approaching 100 km per hour speed limit. That should be enough to slow me down. They left. Yeah, so you should be safe now. And I hope that this patcher will now close the spawn that, that you are blocking with your train. Because that's what he is supposed to do if, if you are using cold start. Because as soon as you move your locomotive, uh, basically the spawn is considered free again. And somebody can join in. Okay, here we are at Bargovice. That's gonna be our next stop. We are already late, but we should be alright. Oh, 70 kilometers without stops. Uh, yeah, 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 that's, that's a good one. Going to Orniki. Well, good luck then. It, it should take you like an hour and a half with a freight train.
Okay, so far so good. Whew, no issues. On that nice and long timetable. I think that's the first time I'm having a timetable over 200 kilometers. So that's that's indeed going to be very interesting. Oh, okay, we got another neutral section. Time to slow down. I can already see the platforms. Okay, now it's time to fit this bad boy. I think I should be able to stop right on the spot. Or perhaps, yeah, perhaps I will be even too soon. Or maybe. Yeah, nice and gentle. Okay, we are two minutes behind the schedule let's jump off the train for a second Ooh, just look at this long boy right quick screenshot there we go nicely done let's have a look and quickly inspect if i manage to pull all the wagons into that platform Oh wow! It actually fits! Like a glove! <laughs> Perfect! That is just perfect! Right, let's jump back to the cabin. Time to release the brakes. And I think we are ready to go. Right, so that was Bargovice. Our next stop is Buk. Is it? Oh no, that's a PT. So perhaps we can make up some time there. Uh, so where's our next stop? Oh, it's gonna be Gdańsk Główny. Nice one.
Okay, the speed limit here is 60. That's good. I'm not planning to go anywhere faster anyway. Okay, we can slow down for a second. I still need to pull all the wagons through that junction. We are going uphill, do we? Yeah, we are now going uphill. Perfect. Okay, I think we can now start to speed up. Oh, and the speed limit will go down to 30, okay. Sayan Taroy, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. I hope you will have a great time. Uh, I, I think well I am on the right track I'm, I'm supposed to be on a single track hmm. Severin hello hello welcome to the stream oh my oh my so many people are watching this I think we can go back to 60 now. Okay, the trucks are going downhill. So I will just let it coast. The train should speed up a little bit on its own. Train Sim World 2 fully fueled. Um, to be honest, I, I did already two videos about it, and I don't think I, I'm willing to make a third one. Now going uphill. Uh, 
Oh my! Those wagons are really heavy for that locomotive, isn't it? <laughs> You're not asking for another one. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, I'm happy that, that you managed to, to beat that scenario. Uh, what scenery is that? Uh, that is Bargovice on a single track. Right, come on, come on, Loco. We need to speed up. go okay we are doing 60 we can let it coast okay this is good so far so now we should be approaching Hosdrui we are very late <laughs> new subscriber <laughs> okay thank you right let me just yes that is horse three you have to cancel your train locomotive is broken and I have left with four wagons only instead of 24 oh my goodness me how did you do that Bolt? seriously like oh my goodness me you really need to practice how to turn on all those locomotives I mean it, it's in terms of EU 07 and ET 41 they, they literally have the same controls Okay, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, so that might have broken your train. Yes, indeed. Well, so what you can do, you can spawn on the same station that you've been before, if you still have your timetable. And the dispatcher can actually restart your timetable from the point where you are. So you can always spawn with the same train. Uh, this time just turn off a uh, cold start and you should be good to go. Oh yeah, uh, almost forgot. Right, so that was Hoshzrui. Oh wow, we got so long way to go. And the next speed limit is 80. Okay, so we are approaching book. Uh, Mr. Skytrick, I can guarantee you that I will be playing at least until 10.45. Uh, because that's when my timetable ends. Probably a little bit longer. Uh, because there is no chance I'm gonna finish this timetable on time. And we'll see what's gonna happen next. I might take another route, uh, but this time it will be much shorter. Or I might finish at that point. So, yeah. But I can guarantee 10.45, that's, that's the least. Yeah, my, my timetable is very long. 
Right, so we are approaching a junction and I'm technically supposed to have a stop in here. We'll see if this patcher can secure a route for me. No, can't. I can already see that on the signal. Oh, uh, you are planning to jump on Pachanchevo. That's nice. That's nice. Oh my goodness me. That's the worst place semaphore I've ever seen. You can't see anything on it. Right, I can slowly approach the semaphore that it covers, in fact. But it looks like we will be stopped here for a while. Okay, and that's our main semaphore. Yeah, it is still showing red. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I was actually hoping that I can make up some time here, but... Uh, nope, it's not going to happen. Let me just crawl a little bit closer to it. Tiny bit closer. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that should be close enough. Is it? Yeah. Okay, looks like everything is good. Let's introduce some brakes. Uh, because I... I have a feeling that we might be on a hill. Oh, you would really like to do Bargovice? Yeah. Uh, what levels? Uh, what level is required for Bargovice? Is it level 10, I think? I'm fairly sure it's like level 10. Right, let me raise the pantograph since we are stopped. And I might use that occasion to do some nice screenshot yeah that's the stuff uh, I, I don't like those frames around some some of the elements uh, perhaps I will have to do it like that yeah, that's the stuff. Ten for Bargovice. Uh, you are six. Well... To be honest, don't worry too much. I'm... I think I'm at level three. Oh, I already got a signal. Perfect. So let me just quickly grab this screenshot. Bam. Okay, perfect. Jump back in. Brakes released. And we're back on the move. Okay, Pantograph can go down. Uh, can I show my whole train when I got time for it? Uh, yes, uh, certainly. Uh, as soon as I will have a minute, uh, perhaps 
when we reach Gdańsk Główny, I might be able to do that. Uh, and I can showcase you my full train. But it all depends how fast I can get to Gdańsk. Okay, speed limit will change to 80. Oh, nice bolt! Nice! <laughs> Where is that going to happen? Okay, speed limit is 100. Pretty much when I reach the next semaphore I can actually give it some more juice. Oh, nice! So yeah, 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 definitely. You are heading my direction. Okay, we can now speed up. Okay, speed limit goes down to 80. Not a big deal. And back to 100. I don't know, I, this is weird. <laughs> Okay, we are finally traveling at reasonable speed from what I can see 70 okay, let's let's push it all the way to a hundred Right, let me just move there we go. Okay, what's the next speed limit? 90. Okay, we are still below. Uh, yes, I've heard that uh, there is a new version uh, of ETS that works with mods. To be fair, I, I didn't really use that many mods. Well, I, I didn't use any at all, to be to be fair. So, it, like, it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> but it's nice that uh, SCS eventually did that. Uh, as well, mod support in multiplayer is a like massive milestone. It was probably a pain in the ass to to implement. Because there are so many mods and obviously every single different mod will impact the game differently. Right, we got 90 km per hour speed limit here. Okay, back to 100. I see. Yeah, so... Well, I, I'm glad that, that you will have even more fun in Euro Truck Simulator. It's a really fun game. Very relaxing. I, I really love to play it. Especially when I'm playing alone in my free time. Like, I, I always put on my favorite radio and, and just drive. <laughs> Lots of fun to test it. Oh well, uh, T3676, yeah, like, new players will 
often make mistakes. You, you just have to cut them some slack. Uh, I know they they technically should read a little bit about the rules before joining the game. Uh, that is something that I always recommend to to actually open that wiki page on on the forums and, and read it before you start driving. Uh, but you can't help it. Like new players will join in and and they will eventually cause some havoc. Right, we got a hundred here. There we go. The next speed limit is also a hundred. Is that Bolt with the platforms? I, I wonder. Uh, is Bolt actually in the... Yeah, he's actually traveling. Okay, okay. Oops. Oh, so that is it's you who is blocking my truck. You little Come on, Bolt, come on. You have to move faster. Just push your train. Oops, and we also have neutral section. I, I really hate that siding. Because of that neutral section that I'm approaching right now. Great. Now I'm now I'm in neutral section. I can't even speed up. <laughs> My goodness me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit longer. Yeah, I got good to proceed. And again, there is someone in front of me. And I'm guessing that's Bolt. Come on, Bolt, paddle faster. Get that train on the move. <laughs> Right, I need to be very careful because I'm fairly sure I'm approaching red light, but I, I'm really not sure where is it. Oh, there it is. Oh, the lights changed. That's good. Is it? Yeah, the lights changed. 
perfect. Okay, the next semaphore will display speed limit of 40 or 60. Uh, Sky trick. First of all, uh, you have to use the editor uh, that's built in the game. And when it comes to building a track, uh, you can ask on the forums. There should be some guidelines about how to properly do it but there are quite strict requirements uh, so it's it's gonna take some time before you will be able to actually build your own scenery even if it's just short stretch of tracks but yeah uh, I can't say it's not appreciated it, it is in fact very appreciated to, to get a new scenery oh that's a red signal right in front of me uh, come on come on come on come on can I stop I think I can, but oh, that's a that is a very unfortunate stop, isn't it? All right, let's let's push it a little bit forward. Is this signal for me, or is this for the other truck? Oh no, that's that's for this one, and this one's cancelled. Okay, okay, okay. So probably my signal is at the platform, right? Whew. That scared me a lot. Yeah, so this white light means that this signal is cancelled for my truck. And there is also a sign that tells that this red signal applies to the truck to my right. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the same thing, T3676. Like, there are moments when... I just have too much to do and there are moments when like there's complete silence and nothing happens right now I need to pull all the way to the end of the platform if I want to fit that train and obviously the thing that I hate about this one is that the red signal is before the end of the platform. So I really need to be careful to not go too far. Just a tiny bit more, I know that I'm late. Okay, that should be enough. Could you please stop for a minute? E there we go, there we go, just stop, stop, stop now. Oh, that's perfect, right. Right, we are late, uh, thanks Bolt. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, thanks to Bolt, we are slightly late, so I won't have too much time to showcase this train, but as I promised, let's do a quick run around. So the first wagon behind my locomotive is a postal wagon. Then we have two first class wagons, one restaurant wagon, and then five classic green second class wagons and that's it there we go that's our lovely train well yeah you are not the dispatcher but you are moving so slow <laughs> 
Like, you should have stepped on it, you know, drive it like you stole it. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, I'm now stopped at Gdańsk Główny. It's gonna take some time. Uh, the next stop is Sobibur. You did! Wow, how fast were you driving? Like, there's a 60 km per hour speed limit, you know? I was chasing you with a 40 and I had at least three signals that... Your train is heavy, my goodness me. I told you to paddle faster. Set sails, like build a bigger sail. So you, you can do it. <laughs> Push it off the cliff. It's gonna go faster, I can guarantee you that. Right, anyway, uh, looks like I'm gonna be stopped here for a while. I need to wait for something. And I'm catching massive delay. Ooh. Right, Sovibor is next. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not gonna make it. And then we got Przęsy, Starelipowo, okay, Parzenczewo, Orniki, my favorite station. Although platform in here is super short. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit that train in there. Then we are going on a single track, which is nice. Ooh, and we're gonna stay on single track for quite a while. We will jump off at Testovo, Piaski, Pilchowice. Oh my goodness me, that is a very interesting route. Oh great, now, now they sent local commuter in front of me. I mean, he's probably going... Yeah, he's going to desktop also. That's a different station. Right, he's... No, Bolt, Bolt is already gone. Okay, so he's... Not... Blocking me anymore. So who is blocking me? Right, I'm gonna give him a thumbs up, just in case. Right, so since I'm stopped in here, and I might not have a second chance, I'm gonna go and get a quick break. So I'll be right back with you guys. Right, so I'm back, I'm back, uh, okay, as advised, uh, we got front, yeah, our front left light should now be red, there we go, just to, in uh, just to indicate that we are moving on the wrong track. Okay, okay, perfect. So probably after this freight train is gonna pass, I will be led onto the left track. Yeah, I believe that's what's gonna happen. Also, I need to observe this small signal. To make sure that my junctions are indeed set to send me onto a left track. Oh, 
Oh wow, this freight train is like a never-ending story, isn't it? It's like, go, goes and goes and goes. Okay, we got everything set. We may now proceed. It would, it would probably help if I would release the brakes first, but well. Right. Okay, so we are now heading to uh, where we are. Uh, we are at Gdańsk Główny and we are heading to Sovibor. Okay. There we go, now we are on the left track. And I believe we are going to stay here for quite a while. Okay, next speed limit will be 70, but I first need to pull my train off those junctions. let it coast for a minute okay in half a kilometer I can in fact go all the way to a hundred so let's just push it Right, so, uh, Sovibor, uh, that is on the next scenery if I'm correct. So I should be safe now. Yeah, that should be a next scenery. I just hope it's not some sort of a joke from dispatchers and, and they won't send me against a different train. It's really scary every time I travel on the left track, because obviously you are not on the right side of, of the tracks. If anyone from any scenery decided to send another train on the same track that I am, it is most likely going to appear right in front of my eyes. <laughs> But, so far, things are looking really good. There we go, new scenery is loading. Okay, nice. We are on the next scenery. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, and there he is, Mr. Skytrick. <laughs> Looks like we are on the same scenery. Good. 
Oh, it looks like my next signal, yeah, my next signal indicates that I will have to stop. Okay, and that is my platform. Perfect, let's just pull this train in. Just a tiny bit more. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, perfect. And we are in. Hopefully entire train managed to fit. This is a very short platform. Oh wow, once more, like a glove. Just look at this. Oh yes. Perfect. That is a perfect stop. I really wish that train driver would have that camera from like focused on the last wagon that that would really be helpful okay i technically could have pulled in all the way here but this isn't too bad Okay, that is a nice spot to do a screenshot. There we go. Beautiful. There is another train that is just pulling in. Okay, is, is that truck clear? Yeah, it is. Perfect. take some more screenshots there we go in fact I can raise pantograph since we are stopped and I will probably oh it looks like I'm gonna be sent to oops uh, I'm gonna be sent to Correct track for for a change. That is really nice. Right, so that is Sovibor. Let's check it. Okay, it's right now on top of my timetable. So then we are going through Hopki, Dominikov. Uh, we have a stop at Przensy. Followed by Starelipovo. Okay, we are already late. So the stream will definitely gonna finish a bit later. There we go. 
Oops. It would probably help if I would release my brakes. Yeah, th that would be probably very helpful. Oh. Uh, looks like the dispatcher changed his decision. Or we might have a semaphore fault. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And we are heading back onto right track. go What was the speed limit here? 100. Okay, yeah, it's good to know. I always keep forgetting about it. We can now carry on at full speed. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, we are back on tracks and everything seems to be working correctly, although we are super late. Okay, now we are passing through Wapki. There we go, very short platform. got a stop signal
Okay, and we managed to actually stop. Ooh, that was really close, in fact. Okay, all we have to do is wait. Uh, where we are... Yeah, that's going to be Dominico. So there's probably a train going through that... ...section. That's why it's locked for me. Let's wait a tiny bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I managed to stop quite far away from that signal, but since I can visually see it, it, it's not a problem at all. As long as I stopped before it, that's fine. <laughs> Now we are getting even more or longer delay. My goodness. Oh well, time to stretch my bones. Looks like I will be stopped here for a while. I might in fact raise the pantograph again. There we go. There he goes. And that's my lovely train, currently stopped in the middle of nowhere. Actually, quite nice view, isn't it? Can I? Oh, that—that's pretty unfortunate. Okay, let me just quickly take that screenshot. Let's jump back into the cabin. Oh. Okay, we can go. <laughs> Thank you, Artful. And by the way, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time. Uh, right, I should lower the pantograph. Now we can carry on.
<laughs> you arrived to Gwovno. Okay. Oh, we got neutral section. I don't want to get caught by this one. There we go. Okay, I'm now safe. <laughs> right, Gwovno, Gwovno. Oh my goodness, me, Bolt, I, I'm gonna be there. Like, wow, yeah, th that's still at least half an hour. And providing how much delays I'm catching, I'll probably be there around quarter to ten. Fair enough, if if you like. Well, so enjoy your trip around, uh, what is that? Gwovno, yes? <laughs> I hope you will enjoy this scenery. Uh, not being published. Is this like Open BVE? I'm not sure what is uh, Open BVE, but this is basically a free game that you can download. Uh, links should be somewhere on my channel. Or you can find them... I'm not sure if I put any links on my Discord, but yes, it's a freeware game. Uh, made on Unity. And it's a Polish rail simulator, yes. Uh, and you can just download it and play. Well, download it. You still have to register on the forums, but... Yeah, it's it's free. Uh, so, if you want to test it on your own, it's it's possible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I'm not sure what is Open BWE uh, or BV, uh, BVE. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, it's it's probably somewhat similar project. Right. I can speed up to 120, although I'm approaching Trense. And yeah, there we go. I'm gonna have to slow down to 100. Oh, that's nice, Mr. Skytrick. So I hope you all enjoy your dispatching session today. Oh, there we go. That's another neutral section. I'm, I'm actually glad that I didn't put any more juice. But I think we are now approaching Trense, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the platform. Ooh, I, I think I'm going a little bit too fast for this station. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So I look forward to find your train somewhere on the tracks. <laughs> yeah. Right, yes. That those are Trense and we are supposed to stay here for about a minute. We are half an hour late, almost. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Those passengers might... must be pissed. Uh, yeah, uh, so basically train driver is more like a run 8. Uh, the difference is that train driver is completely free at the moment. You don't have to pay even a penny to, to actually play it.
or to download it. Okay, let me just stop. Uh, there we go. Okay. I already got a green signal. But obviously I would have to stay here for about a minute and allow my angry passengers to board the train. And perhaps, yeah, probably the postal guy is, is dropping some post. Okay. Ooh, and that's one of the stations where clocks actually work. Eight fifty six, eight fifty six, and on eight fifty seven, the clock will move. Perfect. Nice little detail, but I I like when that's implemented. There we go. Entire train managed to fit into the platform. Okay. few more seconds and I will get that bad boy on the move. There we go. Arrows jumped. Uh, right. Is there an English section? Technically, forum is only in Polish language, but in practice, translation is very easy. Uh, because All you have to do is to right click on it if you are using Google Chrome or any modern browser. Uh, it mostly, well, I'm sure it works on Chrome. And you can select an option from drop down menu to translate the web page to English. Uh, but yeah, uh, there are works on English translation, like official English translation for the website, but obviously. Since it's a free project, uh, then people are doing it in a spare time. And it's gonna take a while before official translations will show up. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you are using Google Chrome, you can quite easily translate things to English from any given language. Uh, so that should help you break the language barrier, at least at first. Uh, obviously the translation won't be the greatest, uh, in fact. Sometimes those translations are really bad, uh, but it's better than nothing. Right, uh, we just left Przensy and we are heading to Stare Lipovo. I mean, while playing the game, you will catch some Polish phrases, obviously, because most of the people that are playing it uh, are from Poland. Uh, but yeah, it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, thanks to thanks to Google Translate and all those modern help that you can get. Like, language barrier is no longer a thing, in my opinion. It's like, if I get onto Chinese website, which I can't read at all, yeah, I can always use my browser to actually help me read it. And while the translation won't be perfect, it will be at least at the level that I can more or less understand. So, yeah, I, I, like, in these days, there's no such thing as language barrier. At least not when it comes to websites or something. Right, uh, where we are? Uh, we are heading to Starelipovo. Oh, and we can actually do 
to 120 here. Why am I traveling at 100? Like, I'm already delayed. My goodness me. Uh, yes, uh, Artful, I did try a uh, SimRail demo. Uh, in fact, I was actually streaming that last, well, yesterday. Um, it was about two hours stream and it's already available on my YouTube channel. So you can actually check it out yourself. Okay, I'm fairly sure that since I need to stop here and I got all green, something will go wrong. Oh, there we go. Next signal will actually limit my speed. So I shall slow down. It looks like general speed limit is going to drop as well. Okay, the speed limit will be 40. I'm moving a little bit too fast. Perfect. I actually managed to slow down to 40 right before the semaphore which is almost perfect right so that is going to be Stare Lipovo and we are supposed to have a one minute stop here Why am I not going to do this? Oh, okay, okay, perhaps there is another platform there. Ooh, was I sent around? I don't think I was supposed to be sent around. There should be a red signal in front of me. Let's give it a little bit more juice. Ah, there it is. Perfect. That's my platform.
Hello FDL, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Okay, I need to pull this train a little bit more. is not slowing down could you please stop there we go oh yes uh, that is extremely long TT uh, it's basically the longest one I ever had I'm currently at Stare Lipovo and the timetable was set for 226 kilometers so that is gonna be really long route and that's the train I'm gonna be driving or in fact I am driving that train <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm doing perfectly fine today as well. My goodness me, it's a bit laggy for some reason. Yeah, very little scenery indeed. There we go. I actually managed to stop perfectly so that the platform is raised next to the doors so passengers doesn't have to actually jump nice 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 right let me jump back to my cabin Whew. right so now I need to wait for the dispatcher to give me a signal and what I can see is something I don't like uh, that is a neutral section right at the exit from the station. I really hate that. Uh, how was my first uh, look on SimRail? So, uh, first impressions were, well, quite positive. However, after I played it a little bit more, uh, after I finished the stream, uh, unfortunately there is that sad realization the game still needs a lot of work it has potential definitely uh, at some point it may become a really great product but at this point it looks terrible to say the least it looks completely different from the screenshots you could see uh, on my discord or screenshots posted by developers before release of the demo like I don't know even a single person that managed to get this kind of graphic in the game. Seriously, the game looks absolutely terrible. Uh, Anti-aliasing doesn't work at all. Distant objects are flickering and it looks absolutely hideous. Uh, catenary, which uh, developers are so proud of because they, they really detailed that. Uh, like, it looks like shit to be honest uh, when it comes to driving physics I'm really happy about it like the game seems to be simulating the units that they gave to the players pretty well uh, I'm like I've never driven this kind of unit in any other simulator so I can't have any comparison I've never even uh, rode in that kind of unit as a passenger so I can't tell you full comparison uh, but it feels like natural, it feels okay to drive this little train. Uh, so I, I guess when it comes to physics they did a decent job at least, yeah. We will see uh, after Steamfest they are planning to release uh, another train. Uh, that's gonna be freight train pulled by Trax locomotive. So we will see uh, how things 
look like uh, oh looks like i lost connection to the server so hopefully that will come back otherwise uh right anyway where was i so when it comes to driving physics i believe they did a great job when it comes to modeling the train it looks absolutely stunning yeah uh it's like i really loved how they modeled that little train yeah and when it comes to graphics of of their models that looks really really good uh on every single graphic settings in my opinion so uh yeah th that's done pretty well uh but yeah the game still needs a lot of work definitely the if they won't fix that anti-aliasing and that uh, short draw distance stuff um uh, it's never gonna work uh, right, looks like I lost connection with Stare Lipovo, which is not something I like. So, I'm gonna do... Uh, I mean, it takes a while to get used to them. Right, I need... Okay, dummy dispatcher. Uh... Oh yeah, I need... Right, uh, let's see if I can get answer from Pajan Trevo before I will depart. Uh, yeah, as I said, it takes a while to get used to them. The problem is that developers didn't provide it full control list. Uh, so you can operate the doors using keyboard controls. Uh, I found those. Uh, those are INP. You can turn that switch. It's much easier to do that this way. Uh, some handles, yes, they are very tricky to, to operate. Uh, some of them are real pain. Don't change LOD level on the settings. Yes, uh, FDL is right. If you can't see the locus to to look correctly, uh, then yeah, uh, uh, try to to mingle with LOD settings. I think it should be set at zero, uh, and then you can see all the details because the game will actually render those. Uh, right, uh, anyway, I can't get any answers from Pajan Trevel as well. So now I'm not sure what to do. And I guess I will just go. I'll take that risk. Worst case scenario, Pajan Trevel is going to be pissed. But that's his problem. Um, I messaged him at least three minutes ago. So literally he had plenty of time to actually answer. Right, I'll, I'll stop at, at the next semaphore then. It doesn't really matter where I stop at the moment, uh, because I am on offline. Yeah, I'll try to stop at the next semaphore at least. Am I on the left track? Ooh.
Am I on the left track? Well, it looks like. Yeah, I might do that. I really hate when they don't answer at all. It's really annoying. Ooh. And in fact... Okay, let me just stop behind that semaphore. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, one more try. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Stop when loading start. I mean, I could. Uh, it it still doesn't really matter because I'm in. There we go. Let's see. The funny thing is that since I actually initiated Dummy Dispatcher, it actually locked my route anyway, so he won't be able to, to lock this particular route for anyone else anyway. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. Okay, yeah, we can proceed now. Oh no, there, there won't be any other train on this track because I'm right now in offline mode. So, uh, basically, that's what happens when you lose connection with your station or when the dispatcher just abandons his post. Uh, Hello, SN Gamers! <laughs> Love from India. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that's far away. Right, speed limit is 120. And it appears I'm on the left track, but for some reason... There is no... Well, there was no W24 indicator when I entered that. So I think dummy dispatcher might not be actually trained to use that. a little bit. Uh, probably. Well, according to that signal, yeah, I will probably cross over. Okay. So I might switch my lights. Yep, I will cross over. Perfect. There we go. 500 more meters and I should be able to speed up. My goodness me, my delay is massive right now. I was supposed to be at Pazenchevo 20 minutes ago.
There we go. Wow. The fact that Dispatcher just abandoned this post caused extra 15 minutes delay at least. That is so annoying. Oh well. Right, so that was Stare Lipovo. <laughs> oh, so... Bolt, you decided to, to get a new timetable. Uh, Raliev, yes, official reason was that he timed off. Uh, or timed out. But it's very easy to do if you have access to your own router. Uh, you just unplug it. And you act like you finished. And if that would be just like a temporary time off, somebody would actually say anything. But yeah, to me it looked like the guy just abandoned his post. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, like, I'm not gonna make complaint about it, because I, I readily do. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very easy to, to fake that. Oh, really? So, task if you kill it through Task Manager, you will also get a proper uh, timeout. I didn't knew that. So I, I thought that it works only if you just disconnect your connection or internet. But yeah, if if you can get timeout by just killing it in Task Manager, it's, it's very easy to fake, yeah? So, what I think actually happened was that uh, the dispatcher was about to end his service and he decided that he can't be asked to wait for me to, to actually leave the scenery or he couldn't get hold of uh, Pazentevo and he decided to, to just time himself out to, to be clean. Uh, because normally when, when you temporarily lose connection, yeah, the station server would reconnect and I I gave it like at least good five minutes uh, to, to allow for the game to, to actually try and reconnect because if, if somebody else would host the same station the game would out automatically connect me after some time. Yeah, exactly. Well, you can't even complain about it officially. <laughs> Don't teach everyone. <laughs> oh well, that's my big mouth. Sorry. <laughs> uh, right, so that is Pazentevo. Speaking of Pazentevo, uh, we are driving a little bit fast on this scenery. Wow. Well, I actually never tried that, but yeah. See, so it's very easy to fake, anyway. Let me just coast. So that is Mateuszów. Okay. Then we are going through Pazentrzewo GT. That is going to have 100 km per hour speed limit. Perfect. Well, I think Alt F4 might actually show that, that you left. Or maybe. Hmm. Oops. Whew, right on time with that neutral section.
I mean, I'm not gonna test it, Rally. Are you joking me? I'm having a perfect timetable. I'm not gonna lose that because I want to test some stuff. Anyway, I'm fairly sure I'm approaching Pazan Chevo right now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Definitely. Oh wow. Right, anyway, next signal will limit my speed to 40 or 60. And knowing Paz and Chevo, I don't think they have 60 km per hour signals, so... Oh, if your game will crash. Uh, yeah, that... I think, like, devs should fix that, uh, because, like, it... It's way too easy to, to fake... Uh, this thing and, and troll people and, and you can't even complain about this. I think I slowed down a little bit too soon but well nevertheless I'm already late so I might as well arrive later. Yeah, virtually it's nearly impossible to fix it. Well, I'm not sure what devs would have to do to actually fix this. It is what it is. Okay. So I'm finally arriving at Pazanchevo. Half an hour late. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah, that's the problem. If, if you just kill the program with task manager, like the game won't even be able to properly respond to that. I don't think you can actually... Ooh, someone just derailed on this scenery. Probably that neutral section that I was going through and I almost got caught by it myself. That's one of the things you have to watch out in Passion Chevo. <laughs> neutral sections work. Right, anyway, I'm getting very close to that semaphore. Okay, here we are. Yeah, exactly half an hour late. My goodness me. There we go. Nice stop at Pazinchevo station. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure about every single loco because I I, oh, I never actually got uh, caught by this. Literally, I I don't remember even a single time that I might have derailed on well derailed uh, got caught by by one of those sections. So I actually never managed to test it. <laughs> I know that you can technically turn that option off in the settings and 
for some of the uh, some of the locals that were affected by it, uh, it worked, and for some it didn't. Uh, but th those were quite old reports. Oops! Uh, looks like someone also passed a red signal with a significant speed. Okay, EU08 don't derail, okay. Well, as far as I remember when there was a massive argument on the forums, uh, because people were complaining about those neutral sections, uh, like developers mentioned that there is an option in the game that you can just uh, tick or untick, and you can disable locomotive bolts. And it should also include uh, neutral sections. But again, it works for some locomotives, and for some it doesn't, and they are still getting derailed. Yeah, so, like, literally I can't remember a single instance. You might correct me if you watched my streams carefully, I, I might have actually got caught by it, but I really don't remember it. Uh, and wow, what is that? <laughs> oh, there we go, Zephyr! <laughs> Thank you for the host! My goodness me, that, that was scary. <laughs> I was like, holy Jesus, what is happening to my sound? <laughs> I really need to change those sound alerts. Thank you very much, Zephyr! <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Oh, that scared me. Oh yeah, wait, I think I remember that stream. Yeah, that might have been on the neutral section. We never established that. Oh, okay, my my route is set, so let's let's just carry on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I now remember that stream. Uh, what was I driving back then? My goodness me, I can't even remember what was the train I was driving. I think it was a freight train, isn't it? And, and I was struggling to go uphill or something. Can't remember, literally, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it happened. Uh, I actually went through one neutral section. Uh, but back then I, I didn't derail. ET41, uh, perhaps, yeah, that, that might have been ET41. Or that was EU07 with some freight load. Can't really tell at the moment. Like, if you remember which stream that was, yeah, you can always quickly check it, but I, I don't think I even made a timestamp for it, because uh, I, I rarely, I'm rarely bothered to actually create time timestamps. Uh, like for a four hour video it's it's like it's a massive pain to actually watch this video every now and then after the stream ended and, and like create those timestamps sometimes i do uh, it's but in most cases i i just stamp the places where i'm taking breaks so people can just skip through them
Okay, okay. Yes, sounds like me, so it's it's very, very possible. I, I do remember that situation, but I can't remember what was the train I was driving. Ah, little troll, yes. Well, it's... Well, at least he haven't done anything stupid on, on the tracks, to be honest. Like... Yes, he wasn't happy because he got an answer from dispatcher that he's not going to train him on how to create an analysis and, and stuff. Someone is looking for F11. <laughs> uh, perhaps. I don't know. For, for me, F11 was... Uh, maybe. I can't remember what's the message I got from F11 myself. Uh, right. Oh, this is a neutral section. Yeah, I'm not gonna get caught by this one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, F11 was... Yeah, uh, that's actually getting in and out of the locomotive. <laughs> My goodness me, I'm... Like, I'm using the same button over and over again, yeah, and like... Whenever I start talking... Oh my goodness me, my brain is so... Dumb... Right now, yeah. Like, I'm using this button on pretty much every station I stop to get out, yeah? And when you mention it, I'm like, hmm, I don't remember what's binded to this button. God damn it. How stupid I am. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, streamer file. There we go, we can now do 120. So let's push it. Uh, we are approaching Orniki Rzeka. And then we are going to enter Orniki. Okay. Twenty minutes left for you to wait. Uh, what was the station you want to take over? Uh, rally of yeah, maybe that's a muscle memory, but like, uh, yeah, come on. You are using the same button. It's it's the same as as if you would ask me, hey, where's the horn? And I would like say, I think it's enter or something. <laughs> like. And I'm using horn every now and then, so so I know the button for it. <laughs> and no, it's not enter, by the way. <laughs> uh, right, so that is Orniki Rzeka. There we go. We are just flying through it. There's not a chance I'm gonna finish before 11. Wow. <laughs> right, let me try and actually stop. Or I will answer to Orniki. Ooh, that's a fast approach. Okay, I need to pull it a little bit. Oh, Pazentrevo, yes, yes. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Dispatcher on Pazhenchevo mentioned that he's gonna finish in. Right, I, I might in fact stop it. I need to pull as close to the signal as possible because my train is quite long and if I remember correctly this platform is not long enough. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. Right, so since we are gonna wait, I can raise the pantograph. Right, so we are at my favorite station. Favorite to actually dispatch on. So far, Orniki. There you go. So, we are going to depart on a single track, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be single track. So, from now on, I will be traveling through single track sceneries. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, you can see how short that platform is. Shot. Okay, the question is, who are we waiting for? Uh, is that you, Bolt? Is that you who is in front of me, trolling me again with your slow freight train? <laughs> Oh, you haven't dispatched for so long. Oh, yeah, yeah, you mentioned something on the Discord, isn't it? You weren't able to connect to SWDR4. And apparently you had to reinstall the game. It's not you, Bolt! Oh! So who is this? Who is this? You are stopped at Domaniewice. Uh, ooh, so you are actually in my way. I'm gonna go through Domaniewice as soon as this is possible the question is why oh yeah i'm stopped because i'm i'm leaving to a single track scenery and it's gonna take ages to get departure outside of timetable yikes oh you are waiting for me yeah so good luck with that because i i don't have a route at the moment. As you can see, I'm stopped at the red light. Yay! Silver the best. Hello from Porinsk. <laughs> Welcome Porinsk. <laughs> uh, wait, so we are both waiting for... Uh, what is that? Probably you might be waiting for Peplin. Oh, your compressor is not working. What do you mean? What have you done to it? How, how did you manage to break your compressor? Tell me about it. Tell me that story, Bolt. Oh, Skytrick, I'm not talking about my compressor. Bolt has mentioned that he has problem with his. And I know that he probably pressed something and, and broke it. <laughs> uh, 
Marnik, hello. Uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you all enjoy it. My goodness me, so many people are watching me. That is absolutely amazing. broken means fine uh, no 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 actually you want your compressor to work otherwise you will run out of brake power well you will lock your brakes eventually right so i might take that occasion again to have a quick break. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, it looks like we might be stuck on that signal for quite a while. Let me raise the pantograph. Did I actually raise it? Oh, no, I, I actually lowered it. There we go. Fuck up, is it? Yes, it is. Very good. Uh, Marmik, uh, it usually gets accepted within 48 hours, uh, unfortunately they 
have to accept it manually because of some trolls that uh, appeared in the past so uh, yeah you will have to wait for for that day or two I know it's annoying because you probably want to jump into the game and like start driving but well uh, use that time to actually study uh, traffic rules because they are very important in Train Driver 2. You can find them in a uh, wiki section on the forums. Uh, so perhaps that's a good thing to to do uh, before you can actually log in and drive yourself. You can also check out on my older videos uh, to see how to operate EU07 for example and perhaps learn a few things that I do you are waiting for four days already um, oh that's weird I mean after four days it should be already accepted uh, uh, have you tried to raise that on the forums Uh, just log into your account on the forums because you are using the same credentials and ask the admins to to help you because it shouldn't take that long Okay, it looks like we will finally be able to depart. So as soon as the signal change. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Troublemaker. Well, I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm playing the game for realism, so obviously delays happen. Yeah, as, as you can see, I'm already delayed by half an hour <laughs> and I'm not bothered. Right, so we can finally depart and get on our merry way. Let's lower the pantograph. Right, next semaphore is still showing. <laughs> Almost one hour late, yeah. Like, I believe on a single track my delay is gonna, like, grow exponentially. And it's like, wow. But we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, I know that I'm expecting red signal in front of me, so I don't want to really rush. Or is it? Did the signal changed. Can't see it yet. Come on, show me that signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Come on, I can't see the signal. Right, I will let it coast. Just in case I need to stop. Yeah, I will have to stop. Yep. Okay, let's slowly pull to that semaphore. Oh, there we go, it just changed. Yeah, still 40. Okay, thumbs up for the dispatcher. Okay, let's slow down a tiny bit. I'm going to enter single track now. <laughs> three minutes left, but it feels like three ages. Well, it all depends on timetables for that dispatcher. Obviously, if he still has some trains to Uh, to dispatch then he might extend it I do that sometimes uh, you would like to try some single player well single player experience in this game is absolutely terrible uh, I can tell you that it, it's good only to actually learn how to operate the locomotives nothing else like Scenarios are absolutely terrific. You won't get any AI traffic. That that doesn't exist. Uh, and all the signals on your way will be uh, green until you reach the end of the route, where you will encounter red signal, and that's it. Okay, I can now speed up to 80. But yeah, a uh, single player definitely is a good way to actually like get hold of controls over the locomotive. That's that's the only thing you can do there. Uh, scenarios are not even funny because like they are terrible. And you can't even make good scenarios uh, with in-game editor because like the game is not made for single player to be honest. And I'm not sure, but I think single player should actually work without you being logged in. So you don't really have to log in to, to play on single player. All you have to do is uh, start the game. Uh, if you can't do it through the launcher, uh, you should be able to start it through the extra. I'm not sure Skytrick. I, I think you don't have to log in to, to actually download the game. I, I managed to download the game without logging in. You can just skip that step and the launcher should still download it. But you won't be able to uh, get into the game and, and play in online mode. Can't really remember. Like, it, it's been ages since I first installed Train Driver, so right now I don't have that problem. Uh, because obviously... No, I... Why am I driving so slow? Oh, I see. So, Marmik, uh, your only way is to uh, create a forum topic and ask uh, admins if they can actually speed things up. Explain them that you are waiting for four days and, and perhaps it would be good to go or what you can do 
Uh, if you haven't restarted your PC for a while, just restart it. Start the launcher again and try to log in again. Because maybe your account is already activated and you just don't know about it. Because you won't get any email from them or something. What do you mean you can't do this either? As soon as you create a forum account, you should be able to log in on the forums. If I'm correct, that works fine for me. I, I was able to, to actually chat on the forum. Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I think I was able to, to log in on the forum before I was able to log into the game. Ah, uh, Bolt, don't tell me you still haven't unlocked your... Oh my goodness me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Your compressor is dead. Oh my goodness me. Right, so what you can try and do, there is a green button under the compressor. You can try and unlock it if it's turned on. So, if you look on my screen, that's the button you're looking for. Unflock fans and compressor. And yeah, you can try uh, recover. Uh, option as well uh, what dispatcher is currently suggesting but that most likely won't fix the issue the speed limit here uh, I am at Grutze okay ah uh, chat give this man big F he killed a locomotive he killed his compressor <laughs> <laughs> there we go big F for Bolt Well, sorry, Bolt. I, I wish I could actually help you, like, get into your locomotive and, and fix it for you, but, like, <laughs> I can't. Raliev, I'm not sure if this station has any spawns open uh, because it's a single track scenery. Oh. 46 minutes delay, yeah? <laughs> uh, I will probably get into like hour and a half or something. For Bolt! Oh my goodness me! <laughs> Oh, poor Bolt. You, you broke your locomotive.
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh wow. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, what you can do... Eventually... You can try and join my Discord server. And write about it in Train Driver 2... Topic. And if I remember correctly, there are some people... From developer team on my Discord. Maybe they will be able to help. Okay, so that is Bolt, is it? Uh, hello, Bolt! Hello, you broke it. Bye bye. Right. I have to admit that he decided to pick a nice train for himself. Too bad he managed to break it. <laughs> Oh well, um, I doubt uh, Dispatcher will be able to organize you at least, uh, I don't know, uh, SM42 to, to like, to drag you over to, to any sort of siding, so... Uh, wait, how do you... Right, so what you can do... Uh, what you can do is to turn off your compressor, turn off your uh, converter, because you need to turn both of them. Uh, turn on the converter again, and then restart the compressor. Maybe that will work. Or restart the whole local, yeah. Uh, basically, like... Do everything that you would do starting from the cold start. Maybe you will unlock it. You can't turn on the main switch. You can turn on main switch only on one side of the locomotive. So if you can't turn it on this side, then perhaps on the other side. Because remember, your locomotive has two cabins. I don't know. G give it a try and see what happens, yeah? And and try to use that unflock fans and compressor button uh, that is combination shift plus C. Maybe it will help. <laughs> well, yeah, that that's a good thing. Uh, at least he wasn't stopped on uh, in the middle of the track. Uh, otherwise, yeah, probably by by now, uh, dispatcher would ask you to to disconnect. Yeah. So, both if if nothing works, then I'm afraid you will have to. Well, what you can do, you can ask this dispatcher if he has any spawns that you can use. Uh, you can disconnect and reconnect again with the same consist and he can then uh, restart your timetable. 
yeah, but if you consult this with a dispatcher and ask him, if not, try to ask this dispatcher to contact with Orniki. And what you can then do is to connect to Orniki and ask dispatcher on Orniki to restart your timetable. Right, anyway, uh, that was Domanievice. Uh, so, we are heading to... what is that? Uh, Kamimowicki, Głowno... Okay, so those are stations on this scenery, I believe. My goodness me, this is gonna be a long route. Heading to Sherpów, Łęczyca and Gawrony. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Ah, right, balls. I, I guess I will show you how to start ET41 uh, the other day. Um, or what you can do. Uh, you can try and visit my video about EU07 where I showcase how to start this type of locomotives and ET41s are working exactly the same. Slow down to 40. go that's gonna be 60 yeah there we go that's even better okay. uh, well not all of the tutorials but I I do have two videos that will tell you about how to turn on EU07 and 
another video is about how to install the game and register on the forums so yeah uh, I, I wasn't making too many tutorials uh, because people usually don't watch them <laughs> Uh, see you again next time, Raliev. Uh, thank you for joining in. And well, uh, whatever you missed, you can always watch it later. Wow, you fixed it! Woohoo! Right, we are not supposed to stop on this station, so... Is it? Oh no! Is that... That is Gwovno, my goodness me. Oh! I, I completely botched this stuff, did I? Oh my goodness me, yeah. I, you know what, guys? You haven't seen that, okay? Okay, you haven't seen that. I'm gonna pull closer to that W14 marker because it's so embarrassing yeah so so like I'm just gonna shish bolt you haven't seen it okay I, I'm gonna fix it I'm fixing it now <laughs> Okay, now let's do my perfect stop. And... There we go. See? that That's what I did. Oh, perfect stop. Right on the marker. Ha! Sky trick, please. <laughs> uh, right, my train is still way too long. Cheater. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> hey, at, at least I don't have one and a half hours of delay. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, uh, we are ready to depart. Uh, we've been here for long enough. Right, so that was uh, Gwovno. Yeah, I, I was supposed to be here about an hour ago. Uh, right, so the next stop is Strikl. Uh, what was that sign? 80? 60? Yeah. I think that was 80. Oop. Neutral section. Oh, that would be so embarrassing if I would, like, broke my locomotive because of a neutral section. Where is that marker? Okay, that's gonna be a hundred. And that's the mark. It is destined to happen. Shish! Don't even say that. There we go. Right, so that was Strikl. Uh, no, that was Gwovno, and now I'm heading to Strikl. Which is on the next scenery. Ah! I was trying to do it too fast. Okay. And... 
transformer and compressor and now we can okay uh, thumbs up to mr. Volsky and now let's get this bad boy on the move Perfect. Ha! Right on time when the new scenery loads. My goodness me, that, that lag spike is super worrisome. Come on. Boy. Okay, yeah. Whew. I was almost scared that the game d decided to crash for some reason. That would be the first time. Oh, you have an hour, PT. Oh, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> I'm still on time. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> That face. <laughs> okay, there we go. We are heading to Strikov, finally. And then we still got like 100 kilometers of routes to cover. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's say hello and let's see what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Whew. That was lucky. I hope this guy was ready for me. Otherwise it will be bad. Okay, entry given. That is just... Uh, what is that? Bratoszewice. Uh, there we go. That's where we are. Very good. I'm doing solid 90. Gotta be freaking kidding me. Okay. Well, that was close. I almost thought that this railway crossing, that this semaphore, well, well, the signal cro uh, covers. Uh, Marmik. Uh, well, yeah, technically. Each station will have its own dispatcher. Some people actually start few sceneries at the same time, but uh, in most cases uh, you will find a different person on each different station. Oh wow! And it looks like Morasix was already extending his service to actually... ...accept my train. 
Wow. Right, let's push it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> ah, Volsky, don't worry about it. I I already had so much delay. And basically I expected to Yeah, to, to arrive uh, with a massive delay anyway. Like you don't get two hundred kilometer plus uh, timetable and expect everything to go smoothly not in train driver too <laughs> and there we go let's start to slow down since the next signal is s1 that should be enough and now as soon as I will get into the platform I should be good Polski thank you for following Twitch <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> right Ooh, I, I don't want to go through entire siding is it <laughs> yeah definitely many dispatchers are very helpful uh, the station that I am on uh, who is that a dispatcher uh, Morasix yes uh, definitely a thumbs up uh, from me he already extended his service by half an hour to, to actually route my train so otherwise I would have to travel in offline mode that's really kind that he didn't run away which he could have done in fact and that would be perfectly legal okay that's strictly okay let, let me just pull this locomotive Okay, perfect. We managed to stop. Whew. Just look at this. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Bolt, I'm sorry you will have to edit this message. <laughs> Marmik, yes, technically, yes. Uh, the thing is, uh, it only lasts until end of that specific scenery. 
Uh, right. Uh, I wonder if a dispatcher is still here. He might have left. I mean, technically he is here. But I hope that the next post is still online. Mm, I'm being held at the red signal. And I can see the dispatcher is still here. Okay. Perfect. Right, let's get this bad boy on the move. Oh dear, oh dear, come on, reset. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, offline mode is technically working quite si quite similar to uh, to single player. speed up so that I won't block this scenery so that was uh, Strickl uh, the next step is when it's up yeah before before today uh, I think my personal longest was around 160 180 kilometers long can't remember exactly but yeah by far this timetable is the longest one uh, I ever had in train driver my goodness me right let's push it to its limits and let's try to get to the next scenery as soon as possible because I believe that a person from Wenchitsa is also extending his service I might be wrong though it's still half past 10 so some of them dispatchers might be willing to stay until midnight which is probably the time when I will finish my timetable <laughs> oh my goodness me There we go. I mean, Skytrek, don't expect to have uh, too many trains at that time. Because uh, obviously, like, it, it's already half ten, yeah, uh, in Poland. So, even though it's weekend and many, many people are still playing, uh, the prime time is almost over. Uh, probably shortly after midnight, you won't be able to get a single timetable to you. In fact, the best times to, to dispatch are between 3 p.m. and like 10 p.m. That's probably the prime time for the game. And that's when you will get most of the trains. Pretty much every day. Yeah, pretty much at, at 1 a.m. you won't find a single train.
<laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly what you will get. It's well. For now, you can't change it. Uh, perhaps if there will be more people from abroad that uh, that are playing the game, uh, let's say. If there would be a couple of American players that actually like this game, then yeah, probably uh, the servers would be busy 24-7, uh, literally. Okay. I wonder if I can reach 70 on that gear. I think I can. Anyway, that is Sherpuf. There we go. Which means next stop, Wenchitsa. Gaugan, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Right, we got entry. But unfortunately, there is no route to next scenery. Yikes. Okay, we will see how it's gonna go. Perhaps the next scenery will have to be sorted in offline mode. I'm not sure if it's still on. But I believe we will quickly find out. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Skytrick. No one knows when people will spawn in. Um, usually when I dispatch, I I always try to keep as little spawns open as possible. Because I, I really hate to like create multiple timetables. Uh, mostly because many people have like weird requests and I'm I'm never bothered to, to actually like make manual timetables and stuff. It's just too time consuming. I mean, that's something that I can do. Uh, oh, wrong button. Uh, yeah, like... For now only Testavo is offline. Okay, yeah, Testavo... Okay, Testavo... Yeah, I, I think I can manage that in offline. Right, where's the platform? I can't see it yet. Is that the platform? I'm not really sure at the moment. Perhaps it would be best to release my brakes and pull the train closer to the signal. Right, what is that? That is... Wenchitsa, yeah? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the platform. Ah. 
Another platform that is way too short for my train. I'm not sure why SWDR actually gave me a timetable to, to stop at this particular station. Oh well, that is going to be a passenger's problem. They will have to go through several wagons or jump off onto the ground. Okay, a little bit of a harsh braking at the end, but, well, that happens. There we go. We managed to stop exactly at the marker, although I had to really pull on the brakes. Is my train actually... Wow! Wait, I, I hope the station is on even ground because I left the brakes on. Well, I, I left the brakes off. Uh... Wow, just look at this. Okay, it's it's only last doors that, that are absolutely useless, but yeah, I, I actually managed to do a great job with this one. Uh, what graphics settings I'm on? Well, technically, I pushed everything to its limits for this game. Uh, let me just show it to you. My graphics settings, well, resolution 1920 by 1080, full screen, uh, no vSync. Uh, graphics settings are based on ultra settings, I just changed uh, shadow distance to 1000. Skybox 5 and post processing on realistic high profile. And the rest are like bloom densities below 5. Anywhere below 5 is fine. Like, uh, Well, motion blur is on because the game just looks a little bit better. And that's basically it. Uh, right. Uh, I'm not sure if I will or when I will have a route through. So let me introduce some brakes to the locomotive. Pantograph is on. And what I can do is to take a quick break. Because again, I still got quite a long way to go. And I don't want to be caught with really high urge to go to the toilet. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Time to go. Ah, uh, yeah, o always at the wrong moment, yeah? The guy told me, hey, th there is no... No way for you, and, and then... Bam! 
Right, uh, I did change something and I don't know what did I change. Nope, nope. 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 Okay, I don't want to press on that. Okay. I think everything is good. Wait, so did I literally gone away and the light changed? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should have let dispatcher know that I'm going... Ah, that... That is very unfortunate. Oh well. Thankfully, I, I wasn't away for too long, so I I guess I'll be fine. There we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, I pressed enter on Noompad. I can't remember what this button does. And I'm, I'm fairly sure that I, I haven't broke anything. No? Uh, release the independent. Okay, no, that's, that's definitely independent break. Anyway. Uh... Okay, naming convention might be weird sometimes. Uh, no, no, no. What is that? Cabin heating. I, I don't need cabin heating. It's still warm enough. Although, technically for my passengers, I should turn it on, isn't it? Ah, screw it. They can be cold. Quick break. Oh wait, I'm I'm speeding, don't I? Or maybe? Um, technically, yeah. Timetable speed is seventy. I'm doing eighty. And I got one hour plus delay. Don't don't even remind me about it, okay? Like I know I was supposed to be here an hour ago. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, the only person, the only people that would care about my long delay would be the passengers that I'm carrying, but, well, too bad. Hey, it, it could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been 12 hours delay, as there used to be in, in the railways. I mean, technically, yeah, they, they don't exist. <laughs> Just bags of sand. Okay, fair enough. I mean, this is possible. Yes, yes. Some of them might might be like a bags of sand. Anyway, uh, we are now heading to Porinsk. So technically, speed limit there should be 120. Oh yeah, I, I also saw massive delays like... I think the other day I had a guy that had like 6 hours delay. Because he just decided to, to get a timetable and, and he was stopped somewhere for, for an entire day. Because why not? Uh, 
There we go, neutral section. Very cheeky one. Right, I'm fairly sure that I missed a sign with a new speed limit for this truck and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, but at the moment I'm doing 80 and the game still doesn't prompt me to slow down, so I believe... Oh, okay, never mind. Sheesh. Tiny bit of brakes. There we go. Just to slow myself down. Bolt, at least I haven't derailed, you know? It's only you. Who is speeding so much that you can derail. <laughs> that doesn't apply to me, okay? <laughs> I can exceed speed limits over like by like five kilometers per hour, maybe ten sometimes. But I don't cause massive disaster because of that, okay? So that's a difference. Hey, remember I'm driving a train that doesn't have a cruise control. It's not a modern unit. This thing was built in 60s. You have to respect that. Well, Bolt, it didn't happen on my first journey, somehow. <laughs> right, so that is Gavrone, and now we are heading to Vola Poreńska, finally. Oh dear, this is going to be a long journey. Well, technically five minutes. Uh, Gaugan, yes, uh, there's plenty of cargo trains, uh, there's quite a lot of rolling stock for this game, to be honest, so... Um, you can basically build your train every time you start. Oh wow, Bolt, you are still driving, I'm impressed. I'm totally impressed. Uh, right, so we just passed Gavrone, we are heading to Wola Poreńska, uh, our timetable, or 
Yeah, our timetable speed limit in this section is 120 kilometers per hour. Oh, you are arriving at Nakwo. And how long is your timetable, by the way? I don't know why, but looking at the chat, yeah, I have a feeling that there's gonna be radio stop on this fucking scenery. We got two very impatient drivers and a dispatcher that is losing his patience. So I, I have a feeling there's gonna be radio stop here. <laughs> And I hope I'm not right. Bolt, don't even remind me about being on time, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes you just get someone who, who misbehaves. I, I never had... No, I, I had, in fact, one person that misbehaved uh, on my station while I was dispatching. Uh, but I, I don't really get too many troublemakers on, on my stations, thankfully. Uh, so... Yeah, it's like you can never be prepared for someone. Uh, oh, that was a hundred, isn't it? Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, you can never actually be prepared for someone who's gonna start making serious issues, yeah? Uh, like, there's always a player that has control over the train and you don't control someone else's train. So, obviously, if a player decides to, to just set off from from a siding without a signal the only thing that can protect you is design of the station yeah and so in some places yes there are those uh, empty sidings in fact I, I could actually introduce a little bit more braking power 
And that, that's probably way too much. Ooh. Yeah, that was a little bit too much. Uh, what was I about? What was I talking about? Uh, yeah. So, like, it's only station design that can protect you from players that will try and do something stupid, yeah? You can always send their train or route their train uh, onto empty sidings, so eventually if they are trying to do something silly, uh, they will either get onto the railer or, uh, like, derail their train because there is no catenary or, or something. Uh, unfortunately, at this moment you can only spawn with wagons. Obviously you can spawn with wagons that already uh, has some load in them. Yeah, blind tracks will eventually help you, but obviously that is a solution that, that can help you only sometimes, because depending where the player is, it might eventually become a problem, yeah? As you can see, yeah, a guy decided to just leave, because he, he wasn't bothered to, to wait. It happens, yeah? You get a route through a single track, and there's nothing you can see. Uh, Coyote, yes, I'm still driving. <laughs> One hour delay, but I'm gonna finish that timetable, yeah? You guys are gonna get credit for routing my train for past four hours. <laughs> wow, I just did a single route today, yeah? I still haven't finished it, by the way. And I'm streaming already for four hours. <laughs> That's really nice. Right, uh, what are we doing? Porensk. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be here <laughs> over an hour ago. <laughs> and, 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 and... Doesn't look like I will have a route anytime. Okay, so... Uh, Coyotec, yes, I'm aware how long my timetable was. Uh, that was, yeah, 226 kilometers. That's, that's indeed the longest route I ever had in Train Driver. Right, uh, so, as expected, I'm heading now to Testovo, uh, which is gonna be an offline route. And, oh, I in fact have... All right. The Switcher won! <laughs> Thank you for subscribing! <laughs> Uh, really? Biggest distance in Train Driver 2? Wow, I didn't know about that. That's something new. Right, so, uh, where was I now? Uh, I was at Porensk, okay. I'm heading towards Kukulka. Oh, neutral section. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I will gain as much speed as I can. Okay, and now I can do this. There we go. 60, yeah, that's enough inertia to actually get me going. And, oh, that's the speed limit. That's good.
Oh, yeah. Okay, fixed now. <laughs> oh wow, I, I have to admit that this dispatcher actually has massive vision. Uh, Kukuka is a passenger stop on the beginning of Testovo scenery. Uh, yes, uh, is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it is. Uh, and probably I will get a red signal around that place uh, because obviously there's going to be no dispatcher. Right. I'm fairly sure that I already went through the section that was marked as 60. Uh, there was supposed to be temporary speed limit. But I completely missed that. And did I? Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's probably the sign that is covering the other ends. Testovo, Gura, Brzezinka and Otwocko. Uh, Testovo, Gura, Brzezinka. All of them! Yeah, so literally all of the sceneries that I will have to go through are offline right now. Oh, don't even tell me I won't be able to finish that. Come on, I, I need at least a dispatcher on Otwocko. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Right, so F6, and let's carry on. Otwocko and Brzezinka. Okay. <laughs> well, Bolt, uh, I, I don't think you, you have enough experience to actually dispatch me. Yeah, that, that is very unfortunate that actually my last station is not a player operated station. Because then nobody will be able to confirm my timetable. Right, so, uh,. That's going to be Testovo, and I believe we are now approaching the station. The problem is that I won't have any other indication of that. Yeah, I need to look for a platform myself. There, there it is. That is really unfortunate. Chat, I'm now disappointed. Big F on chat. Oh. Uh, not even a last station. If, if the last station would be online, I'm not bothered. I can carry on in offline mode. In fact, Testovo is my last stop and then I'm just flying through. Oh, Skytrick, uh, you think you can jump in on Otwocko? Yeah, if, if you can just put this station online and route my train, that would be brilliant. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, Coyote, so you are gonna take Brzezinka. Right, so... Uh, is Gura Wodowska actually online? Oh, Volsky, you are on Opotsko. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Guys, you are saving that timetable. <laughs> okay. Uh, Koyotek, are you on Gura Wodowska uh, at the moment? Right, uh, Gora Wodowska is a... S oh no, that's that's a double truck, so technically it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so Gora Wodowska is online, we got Koyotek on Brzezinka and... Skytrick, are you jumping on Otwocko? Okay, we got clear to proceed. Okay, time to drive it like I stole it. <laughs> okay, so Volsky is on Otwocko. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Right, so I, I think we can finish this. <laughs> Let's make sure our passengers can reach the final destination at Otkotsko station. Because right now it should be just one final stretch. Okay, and that is 120 all the way. Technically. <laughs> nice okay we got neutral section approaching there we go that would be a shame if I would just derail right now isn't it Perfect. Let's roll. Okay, so I'm now approaching Piaski. About an hour and 16 minutes late. Is it? No, hour and six minutes. Okay, 66 minutes delay. Okay, okay. If everything will work fine, I should have 120 all the way at the moment. So I might try and make up some time.
Okay. There we go, 110. Okay, short section with 160. Unfortunately, this locomotive can't do that, even if it's falling off the cliff. Wait, but Fotsko is showing offline. Uh, from what I can see, Volsky is on the chat and, and he says that it's online, isn't it? Oh, unfortunately I will have to slow down to a hundred. Is it? Or perhaps no, that's... It's, well, technically. Oh, it kicked you. I see. I think I overdone it with the brakes a little bit. Oh, that's a nice straight stretch of tracks. And another neutral section. And a stop signal. Oh dear. Yeah, we got no entry to station. Right, so, question is, can he route me? I am definitely connected to the station. use F3 and let's see Okay, we got roots. Oh, I think the semaphores were not set. Yeah. Okay, I'm slowly approaching this semaphore, but I will probably have to stop. 
by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. We got a green light. Okay, let's fly it. Oh, and I'm going onto a left track. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, thumbs up for the dispatcher, and for a route, and let's fly it. Just perfect. We are absolutely flying it. Perhaps we are going a little bit too fast, isn't it? Oh, okay, just one kilometer per hour. I, I guess that's... That's within... Safety margin, I, I'd say. Oh wow, this is one... Oh, I see Pielhavice and Guravodowska. That's that's this route with 160. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember this scenery. That's a very long one. Wow, we are absolutely flying it. No, 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 no. Don't do it, game. Don't do it. Wait. Whew. Okay. I have to admit that loading the next scenery exactly when the player is approaching neutral section is absolutely the worst idea ever <laughs> imagine 
if that would actually derailed me. Oh, that I I would be pissed. Oh, and there is another neutral section. Just perfect. Oh wow. <laughs> I have to admit that this is a big no-no. Uh, what? We are going to meet again. Wow, bolt. Fantastic. Uh, there is a... Oh, SM42. Perfect. So you decided to, to take on some diesel locomotive this time. Well, at, at least you can't break it, literally. Like... You would be the first person to actually break SM42 in that game. So I, I hope you won't do it. That's exactly what I'm doing. That is Brzezinka, is it? Yeah. Perfect. Right. Just perfect. Okay, thumbs up. Hello, Patrick Cremona. Welcome to the stream. Well, you joined us quite late, but we still have... Yeah... A little bit to, to go. Uh, oh. What am I doing? I, I was supposed to do just this one and this one. Let's let it coast. Let's give it a touch on the brakes. That should be enough. Oh, and that's Bolt! <laughs> Hello, Bolt! Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, there we go. And now I will have to stop. Okay, we are going on the right track by the looks of it. But the next signal is most likely a red one. Janek Pawełek 2! Hello! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> right, let me just verify that signal. Hopefully I can spot it before... ...that turn. Oh, and there is neutral section as well. Oh, wow. The closer to the end of this route I'm getting, the more... ...difficult it gets. 
Where's that signal? Come on, come on, come on, show me the signal. Oh, it looks like semaphore might be dead. That's why. Ah, that explains everything. That was a harsh break to make. Okay. Well, it looks like this uh, automatic block signal uh, Yeah, this signal is unfortunately not working So, I'm not sure why he is passing those signals that fast Because he's definitely not driving locomotive that is rated for that speed uh, But, according to the dispatcher uh, Automatic block signals are not working. Yeah, that... I mean, the guy is definitely going too fast. Uh, but... Following what was happening on the chat... Uh, I received a permission to go forward through those signals. Because they are off at the moment. Although it didn't happen through official, like a written order. I'm not bothered with those at the moment, but yeah. I consider that as a written order, yeah. But yeah, this guy is just flooring it, like 224. That, that route is not even rated for that speed. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do. Anyway, I'm on my way. Oh, there we go. And the next signal is actually working correctly. So yeah, apparently, in my case, it was only one signal. Ah, oh, come on. I went one step too high. <laughs> Marcel, you are done with work. That's... That is something. Okay, I, I hope that everything works right now. I went one step too far with... With the shunt control. In fact, what I can do, I can do that. And properly turn on transformer. And turn on compressor. There we go. Now I can floor it. Grocery, grocery store? Yeah, I mean... To be honest, like anything that's, that is in retail, it's, it's like... Oh my goodness me. Those jobs are absolute... Uh, they don't really pay good, and and you really have to work hard in them. Right, I can now slow down a tiny bit. That should be enough. Uh, I'm actually speeding a tiny bit, uh, just one kilometer. Okay, that should be good.
ET41 spawns on passenger. I mean, to be to be fair, it, for me it never matters uh, who spawns where. As long as the train fits within the siding, I can always maneuver it. On Sundays and after 10, there is a 200 payout. Hmm? That's nice, that's nice. So now they are actually paying extra for for doing the job that nobody else wants to do. At least in some places in the world, I believe. Oh, 200%. So double pay. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, well, that's good, that's good. In my actual job, I'm getting double pay only if I work between 50 and 60 hours per week. And I get double pay only for those 10 hours, yeah? That that falls within within that spectrum. But to be honest, I, I never do anything above 44 hours myself. Maybe around Christmas I, I will have to work 55 a week. But it rarely happens. Anyway, we got neutral section. Oh, in fact, I, I probably missed it, did I? Or is it... Oh, okay, the markers were probably wrong. Or maybe they were correct. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm getting tired. There we go, I can still floor it. Right, so now we are heading to Brzezinka. Uh, who is that speeder? I don't know, he's on this scenery and, and like... Since dispatcher is not reacting to him, they probably agreed to, to use this track for some sort of testing. But yeah, like, he's going way too fast and I, I don't think such tests should happen on PL1 server. But since both of them are okay and, and they are doing this safely, then probably everything is fine. Unless the guy is doing this illegally then uh yeah that that's probably gonna be complaints <laughs> on the forums so we'll see we'll see if that's gonna end up being complaints on the forum then yeah <laughs> we've all seen that yeah the guy did that i really don't know if if they have any sort of agreement between each other that they are performing some sort of speed test maybe like as long as they organize this and and do it safely, I, I guess everything is fine. Oh, nice! Bolt is your last train for now. Uh, like, I, I will probably arrive soon. Uh, yeah. I mean, technically, we are on the scenery that allows up to 160. Obviously, there is not a single locomotive that is designed for 160 in the game. But apparently, some people can push some locomotives a little bit higher than they should go. I think that's EP08, uh, the one that is speeding so fast. And apparently, it can reach 200 kilometers in the game somehow. <laughs> Gonna make sure that he gets delayed a lot. <laughs> okay, so I finally arrived to Brzezinka. There we go. Oh wow. One hour and 20 minutes late. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I, I really need to like... 
drive it faster. Oh no, that's well, uh, hour and ten minutes. Right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit faster, please. Oh, there we go, Coyote. Yeah, uh, let's smash it. Uh, thumbs up for you. Okay. Is that gonna be S2 line? Yes. Okay, oh, uh, please tell me the... Yikes! Probably I should have paid attention to speed limits, but okay, we are safe, we are safe, we are still safe, okay. There we go. Whew. That scared me. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Imagine if I would have derailed. I completely forgot that Brzezinka has so bad tracks. That was scary. Okay, let's fly it. Okay, time to go down to 60. There we go, that's a section limited to 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, I believe we should now be in the clear. Although I don't trust those trucks. I don't think I want to speed up. <laughs> oh wow, w was that Bolt or me? Like. I'm definitely far away from being five minutes delayed, and I, I'm, I'm super delayed. Oh, 65 minutes, okay, yeah, that, that, that sounds appropriate. Oh dear, all I have to do is to get to Otvotsko, and that's it. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, last few kilometers, guys. Last few kilometers and we will be able to... Stop. No way! Come on, Will Horton. No, th those things don't happen in Poland. Like, you paid for your ticket, they're gonna deliver you. They won't care that, that it was 12 hours late, but like, yeah. I mean, I think there is a policy to, to get a refund, but it would have to be a serious delay and like one hour, nah, probably not. Like, I remember I used to travel in Poland back in the days, and, like, my trains got six hours delays, and nope, not a chance for a refund. Come on, forget about it. You just drove back and forth through the entire country. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not sure how much uh, it changed uh, on, on Polish railways, but, yeah. I know that tickets are still dirt cheap, yeah? For someone who, who lives in the UK, if I would just go right now to, to Poland, like, I could travel with a first class and it would still be cheaper than traveling in UK. <laughs> okay, hello Volski, hello! Right, let's fly it. Let's fly it home. Final stretch. What is that? Świderek, yes. So we are now at Świderek. I can now let it coast, I believe. Because Fotsko is just behind the corner. There we go. One last signal. From a politic dinya, yeah, like as I said, for for someone who who lives uh, abroad, like I know that for for people from Poland, like, it still might be on, on like, expensive, expensive side of, uh, of things, but, like, with British salary, even from retail, which is the lowest one in, in UK, uh, like, you get to Poland, you buy first class ticket for Pendolino and, and travel all the way from, like, Dynia to Katowice or, or something, yeah? And you will notice that you just went through like 600 kilometer long journey or something, or, or is that like 500 something kilometers? And for the same journey in UK, you would like spend your weekly salary probably. Okay, just a few more meters to make sure that the last wagon entered the siding and there we go! We are now stopped, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. We have arrived. This lovely little train. This lovely little train finally made its way home so that's where we are there we go all those happy people yeah look at them just look at them okay this guy is clearly doing something shady my goodness me this guy's flexing okay oh, there we go hello Okay, final inspection of, of the wagons, and then I think we can finish. 
Here's the last wagon. Yes, the last wagon made it to the platform, ladies and gentlemen. Just by a tiny bit. Uh, who is that? Coyotek, probably. Yeah, Coyotek is probably messing up with the lights. Okay. Huh. So that is our lovely journey. Let's let's take a quick photo of that lovely EP07. 1055. Okay, I shall remember that number. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's turn this on. Uh, right, uh, definitely Volsky, thumbs up for you and well... There we go. Yeah, just to make sure, thumbs up was given and... And we can do that. And that. Whew, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, we managed to finish that 226 kilometer journey. Yeah, that is something, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that that is amazing. We spent 4 hours and 45 minutes... And that was only a single journey, yeah? So, if anyone had a doubt, yeah? About survival of Train Driver 2 after Simrail will be released, yeah? I can guarantee you that. Because you can get routes like that in Train Driver, yeah? And because if you really put some time into it, you can make five hour long trip in one single game, yeah? And you can also make shorter trips and, and longer trips and you never know what's going to happen, yeah? Train Driver is definitely safe as a game. Not to mention that Train Driver is also offered for free, so like... It's commercial product that you have to pay for versus a product that you don't, yeah? So again, that's another selling point towards Train Driver. Uh, also, if you are watching me and if you never played Train Driver... Uh, check out my videos on YouTube. Uh, there are links and descriptions. Well, in descriptions of those videos, definitely. There are links to the website of the game where you can get it for free. And you can register and play it. Uh, obviously, one of the videos is also explaining how to get this game uh, directly. So you can check out that playlist as well. Uh, also, if you just joined us, sadly, I'm about to finish. Uh, but you can find this stream in its full on YouTube. It will be available within the next probably five to six hours. It will be fully published. Uh, so you will be able to watch entire journey that we took today. Um, in the meantime, yeah, feel free to check out my previous journeys. Or perhaps you would like to see me doing any sort of dispatching job. There are uh, videos about that as well. <sighs> right, guys, thank you very much for tonight, and, well, I hope to catch you next time. Bye-bye.